Today we're playing sex trivia only on Try Guys. <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> Do you want it harder? Mm. <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> 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 Welcome to another episode of Try Guys Gang Gang Gang. Today, we're playing sex trivia. Hey, what's up? My name is Ray Latrey, drags bad as bitch if you're nasty, and I'm here to uh, try a little bit of guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Mistress Justine Cross, and I look forward to making all of them my subs. Gulp. I am a professional dominatrix, so what does that mean? I uh, help people explore their fantasies through BDSM, so, you know, sometimes punishment is its own reward, as we're gonna punish you later today. Today we are gonna play three rounds of trivia. The first round, easy. The second round, medium. And the third round, very, very hard. And every time a Try Guy gets a question wrong, the mistress is going to politely make them all bleed. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gonna get a spanking. <laughs> Today, the Try Guy winner will get to spank, lick, eat, any or all the above losers. <laughs> My name is Keith, and I think sex is pretty cool. So, I'm excited for today. Think I have some knowledge of it. Hi, my name's Ned, and I know sex stuff because it's babies. Hi, I'm Eugene. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> So, consent is very important in BDSM, so I want to make sure that you all consent to this vlogging, which, because it's the first round, isn't going to hurt. It's like we're sitting on the exit row on an airplane. Yeah. No, Do don't. you consent? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, mistress. Yes. Oh, thank you. Very yes. good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Approximately, what percent of sexually active people said they have been involved in BDSM? A, 2%. B, 4%, C, 6%, or D, 8 inches. I mean, percent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem awfully low. I know, low. but people are shy. Keith, what's up? What you got? I went with C, 6, because 6 sounds like sex. All the numbers felt low to me, so I went the highest one, 8. Oh, okay. I also went with sex percent. Y'all are getting spanked today because it is A, 2%. Shut up. Really? Yes. Are you vlogging one, me? Yeah, 1.8% <laughs> of sexually active people, meaning 2.2% of men and 1.3% of women, said they have been involved in BDSM. Sounds like people aren't really self-reporting, honestly. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Me first. Please, mister, it's me Bye. first. Yes. What was the correct percentage? Sex percent, mistress. No, ah, 2% mistress. <laughs> All right, good warm up. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, mistress. Mm, you're welcome. Uh, yep, all right. Now arch Hold that on. back. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah. Present yeah. your ass to Get me. Get that booty there out. We go. Show that butt. Uh, does it make my butt look good, mistress? Well, it looks better when I'm hitting it. Oh, all right. I didn't yeah. say get up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, mommy, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you call me mommy or Dommy? <laughs> okay, mommy, I'm here. I said, okay, mommy, let's go. <laughs> well, he is bent over like a Victorian. Oh, 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 that was for mommy. Oh, oh, that was for oh. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> What did we say at the beginning? What was my name? Mistress. Mistress what? Mommy. <laughs> oh, do you want to get punished more? No, mommy. No, mistress. I'm sorry. Uh, mistress who? I forgot. I'm very bad at Mistress things. Justine Cross. I'm so bad at names, Mistress Justine. Say thank you, Mistress Justine Cross. Thank you, Mistress Justine Cross. Thank All right, you, you may get up now. Thank you. Guys, don't call her mommy. <laughs> Off to the second question. The longest orgasm in mammals is that of the domestic pig, Sus Grofa Domesticus. How long can their orgasm last? A, 15 minutes. B, 30 minutes. C, one hour. Or D, 90 minutes. I'm going with one hour. I honestly don't know. This, this all seems so long. A pig coming that long? Oink. 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 Uh, I guess 30 minutes. 
you know, nice half hour. I also went with 30 minutes. I thought since the last question was the lowest number, maybe this question is the second lowest number. Mm. I just did classic standardized testing logic. Well guys, get ready to get flogged. The answer is D. No, it's not. No, it's, no, not. it's not. It's 90 minutes. No, it's not. Yes. How are these questions wow. easy? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're your little piggies. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. What are we supposed to say after Mistress flogs you? Thank, Thank you, you Mistress Justine Cross. Justine Cross. Oh, good. Which animal has the largest testicles? <laughs> A, the giant mouse lemur, the colossal squid, the right whale, or the brown bear? Which animal has the largest testicles? A lemur, a squid, a whale, a bear. <laughs> Sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> I'm assuming this is relative to its size. Oh, right? that's, that's important. I, I would say in general. Well, I went with the whale. Um, <laughs> Gorge. I haven't seen his testicles, but I assume they're inside of him and maybe they, it, whales are big. I also went with whale, whales are big, and also because Sperm whale. Well, I went with those fuzzy bear balls because they're the only balls I've seen in real life. Mm. We got two winners here. It is the right whale. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm the wrong bear. Yeah, although in whales, <sighs> testes are usually internal, the largest testes of any animal species are those of the right whale, which weigh as much as 11,000 pounds. <laughs> what? And produce four and a half latres of sperm. Wow. That's a lot of little tiny That's, whales. Yeah. <laughs> what if I turn this way for the audience? Yeah. Oh. Arch that back. There it is. Clearly not your first rodeo. All right, this is the last question of round one. How did porn use change during the pandemic in America? A, it increased, B, it decreased, or C, stayed the same? Yeah, <laughs> confident with this one. <laughs> I would be shocked if I'm not right. I think I'm right. Wow. All right, I'm gonna always see, stay the same. Porner's gonna porn. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people being home or away makes anybody more interested in porn or not. I think porn is gonna porn how they normally do regardless of the world's crises. I <laughs> think it, it has to have increased, for sure. Wow, first question we have different answers. I said decreased, because I was really sad during the pandemic. Well, in general, pornography use trended downward what? over the pandemic for both men and women. Wow, because people were sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, still uh, oh. Not in my case. <laughs> not in my case. I do like it better when I'm like with my boy Ned. Yeah. Mm. Welcome back to round two of sex trivia with the Try Guys. Each of your guys had three questions wrong, so we are all tied. Mistress, what's your uh, what's your choice today? I have to get on gloves first. Oh, okay. Oh. She's gonna punch us. Punch us in the ass. <laughs> punch in the ass. Ass punch. Um, we have the paddle, Ooh. so it's gonna get a little harder. Which of these groups reported the highest number of orgasms with a partner? Pigs. <laughs> a, women in same-sex relationships. B, women in mixed sex relationships. C, men in mixed sex relationships. Or D, men in same-sex relationships. Oh, dang. I feel like oh, that's Eugene is so really crazy. confident. I said A, my beautiful lesbian friends. I I cannot see a version of this where that's not the right answer. I think Shit. D, dudes. Dudes are easy to please yeah, if they're anything like me. <laughs> but orgasms. We have one winner, women in same-sex relationships. Women in same-sex relationships reporting greater frequency of orgasms from greater variety of activities. I mean, that makes sense. That sounds about right. That sounds right. Women supporting women. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can barely feel it. You're wearing jeans. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Uh, you does know, it tingle? at the risk of really doing myself in here, it doesn't hurt that bad. Should we go harder then? It's medium. There's a whole other round left. I <laughs> On a scale All from around. one to ten, what would that be for you? Ten would be so hard you would mercy. It's like a three. What do you want it to be at? 
for the medium rounds, probably like five, five, yeah. six, you know, maybe. Is that a five for you? Ooh. Sure, sure. I feel like you're at the batting cages right now. <laughs> All right, I'm done with you. Keith, would you also what? like a five? <laughs> I think I want to start with a two. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Is that a two for you? No, it's, it's, it's probably a two or a three. Thank you. Very good. You're done. Wow, that was brilliant. Yes. 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 That was, that was cool. amazing. What is the average length of an erect penis? 30 inches. <laughs> <laughs> a, 4.1 inches. B, 5.1 inches, C, 6.1 inches, or D, 7.1 inches. I know this. What you got, Keith? I went with B, 5.1. B, 5.1. I also went with B, 5.1. I think it's smaller than people think. Wow, well, according to the BJU International Journal of Urology, which analyzed more than 15,000 penises around the world, oh the that average job. size of a penis is B, 5.16 yeah. inches. Wow. You said it was the BJ University? Mm-hmm. <laughs> BJU. BJU, BJ okay. me. I hardly know you. <laughs> All right, which of these statements about semen is false? A, sperm production takes about 74 days. B, <laughs> 74 days. men produce the most semen in their early 30s. C, more sperm is always better when trying to get pregnant. D, generally sperm range from 40 to 150 million per milliliter. <laughs> huh. You know the pregnant one. I judge. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to. We did a sperm video, I don't remember. Damn. Which is false. False. Which is false. All right, 74 days. I also got 74 days. I just can't imagine. I, I've never something put that, that much time into seems, anything. Something about that seems off. It seems too long. Um, I guess the one about age. I, I thought I heard somewhere that a man's sexual peak is like age 18. You were all wrong. Dang. Dang. More sperm isn't always a benefit when trying to get pregnant. <sighs> That's my second guess. guess. The higher the sperm wow. concentration, the more likely the, that multiple sperm may fertilize the egg. May I go by myself, Mr. Yes. Justin Cross? Thank you, Lynn. So on a scale from one to 10, what is that for you? About a four, Mistress yeah. Tristan Cross. Do you want it to be more or less? Sure, Mr. more, Mistress more, Tristan Cross. More, more. That's more of a seven, Mistress <laughs> Tristan Cross. I haven't gotten to do this one yet. Yeah, that's good. That's oh, good the key, the key. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it easier to slap. It's so short. There's a... Ah. Hey there, Mr. Justine. Good to see you. Yes. <laughs> Let me do... I'm gonna do a little... Like a little dog. Oh, that's... Oh, that... Okay. Like a little doggy. That's good. Oh, he's a little dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. You... Does that tickle? I don't... It just... I don't know why it fills me with so much joy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which of these is not a euphemism for having sex? A. Rumbusticating. B, basket making, C, bed sheet boogie, or D, riding St. Sebastian. <laughs> Rumbusticating's a weird word, but why would it be in there if it wasn't <sighs> Maybe that a is. weird sex word? I think the bed sheet boogie isn't real. Sometimes they throw in something that seems so like, well, that can't be the answer. This is the answer, I know it. Same reasoning. I think bed sheet boogie is something one of our production assistants came up with. I said basket making. Now that I think about it, it's kind of like basket related to a baby, so making a baby basket. I'm probably wrong. Explanation is writing Saint Sebastian is not a euphemism for sex. Shit. Basket making is an obsolete British term for illicit mm. lovemaking, though. When you say a British accent. And bed sheet boogie is obviously fornicating. Yeah, yeah, almost yeah. so Shit. obvious. It's, it's not when you do laundry Dang. with exuberance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see your faces later because I am only seeing butt. <laughs> Mistress Justine Cross, yes. could you favor the right cheek on this one? I got a lot of left cheek last time and I'd like a little uh, balance in life. <laughs> is it even now? Thank you, Mistress yes, Justine Thank Cross. You're welcome. Everyone feeling good? Spicy, just yeah. yes, spicy. Yes, very yeah, spicy. spicy. Mistress. Excited to be at you know at work today. We are excited to be at work yeah. today. This is some fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now my butt does hurt now. <laughs> sake, my butt hurts now.
Welcome to sex trivia round three, the final round. This is the hardest round. This How is when you're gonna hard get spanked is it? the hardest. Oh! oh. Daddy's home. Yeah. All right, yeah, so you business. I do, and we have this cane. Whoa. It's much harder. Do you think you can handle it? Yes, Mistress yes. Justine Cross. Are we consenting? This is how I predict I will look. Uh, <laughs> I need enthusiastic yeses. I consent! I consent. I consent. Mm -hmm. Please hit me with the stick. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Question one. Which of these statements is true when looking at people between 18 and 59? Older men have reduced likelihood of orgasm. B, older women have reduced likelihood of orgasm. Oh. C, age has no effect on likelihood of orgasm. Or D, age reduced likelihood of the partner's orgasm. I went ahead and guessed A, <clears throat> that men had reduced likelihood of orgasm. A, because Viagra. Gosh, I hope those guys are right, because I went with A as well. Oh, oh no. Among ages 18 to 59, older age for men is associated with lower likelihood of his own orgasm. Okay. Oh. For women, it is associated with a higher likelihood of her own orgasm. That's women, Age yes. is not associated with the partner's orgasm for either men or women. Wow. Sorry, mistress. Well, yeah. who am I gonna cane now? Maybe you. <gasps> Can Rhea yeah, oh, has been begging. That question should have been in the easy room, oh, Rhea. Oh, oh mistress, I'm so show. excited. <laughs> Do you consent? Oh, I so consent. <laughs> so much padding on this booty and this little this sequins. As yes. if. <laughs> Which of these activities had not been shown to induce an orgasm in women? Men? Oh, sorry. I was <laughs> That's an answer I'm going with. Sorry. <laughs> A, exercise. B, giving birth. C, sleeping. D, eating food. Oh, this is so hard. This, women are so complex. I mean, it's gotta be, really, like, it's gotta be B, right? <laughs> I went with D, food. Because I'll have what she's having is an actor's performance. I also went with D, food. Oh, I feel like it's kind of a, like a shallower answer. Well, although foodgasms give us a feeling of satisfaction that occurs during the consumption of particularly amazing and delicious foods, and certain foods serve as an aphrodisiac, eating food has not been shown to induce literal orgasms in men or women. Fuck. Orgasm of birth? Okay, all right. How, how should I do this? Be a little dog. A little dog. <laughs> well, it's the first. It's the first cane, so we want to see your face. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you want it harder? This is the hard round, isn't it? I know. And you got it wrong. I did. You were wrong. <laughs> Which were the first types of animals to have sex? A. Fish. B, birds, C, mammals, D, reptiles. Now define sex. And it's like, gets you going. <laughs> reptiles and birds are pretty much the same thing. So I don't think it's them. And mammals, they came a lot, a lot later. But fishies, pretty much all life started in the ocean. So I think fish is a solid answer here. Yeah, I, I don't know, I guess birds. <laughs> <laughs> I also guess fish because uh, primordial ooze, baby, go crawl out of that ocean. Rhea searchers say fish called Microbrachius dicky. <laughs> <laughs> Another great drag name. <laughs> Rhea Searchers says a fish called Microbrachius dicky is the first known animal to stop reproducing by spawning and instead mate by oh, having sex. Oh, if that's the way. I asked what defines sex if it's mm -hmm. non mitosis. Fuck. Arch your back. God damn it. <laughs> you got Rachel to say arch your back. <laughs> <laughs> Our mother and producer. <laughs> arch your back, Ned. One question left. Eugene is winning by one question. So Keith can come up and tie this round. What is the most number of times any animal can have sex during a three to four hour period? A, 10, B, 30, C, 50, or D, 70? I know my answer. Well, I think all animals are God creatures and God creatures are freaks, 70. <laughs> well, I guess the same thing. I guess 70. I, Damn it. I also guess 70 because it's a sex show, people. Well, 
The male scaly cricket Ornibus aperta from Australia can copulate more than 50 times in 50. three to four hours. <sighs> All with the same female. With the same girl? Yep. Oh, poor girl. I thought he was multiple partners. Lucky times. her. Get up! <clears throat> yes, mistress. Are you nervous or are you excited? Um, maybe it's nervous excitement, mistress. Just to get across. <laughs> have you ever been caned before? I have not. No? Have you been caned before? Uh, I've been spanked with a stick before by a parent. Oh, okay. Is oh. this okay for you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's okay. I, was like, I guess, uh, yeah, maybe that, but not my parents. It's cool. <laughs> Immigrant child of color. <laughs> it was harder than I expected it was going to be. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> now I know what to expect. Oh, that's sharp. If I may, mistress, if I may describe his audience. Yes, please describe. The other tools are kind of like eating, um, I don't know, a little Greek cuisine. And then you had like maybe a little bit of a Spanish cuisine, and this is full on just Thai peppers, Indian yeah. spice. There's a sting to it. Yeah. yeah. That's sharp. To Eugene, who won, and for his prize, he gets to vlog his fellow Try Guys. All right, boys. Welcome to Master Squid Game Dungeon. <laughs> oh. You call me Master Squid Game because by the end, only one of you will be left standing. Are you both little bitches? Yes, Master yes, Squid Master Game. Yes, Master Squid Game. Boys who try, you want to try being little bitches? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Master Squid Game. Oh, you like calling yourself daddy, huh? So who's the daddy now, Ned? Uh, you are Master Squid Game. You like to have big things in your mouth, right? I you sure bitch? do. I want to swallow all the menu. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see that big old mouth scream for me, you little bitch. <laughs> 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 Sorry, was that too hard? No. Was okay. <laughs> Give me a bottle with pain, Eugene. What was that, little bitch? Give me a bottle with pain, Master Squid Game. Who's a tri bitch? Me, keep and who's it. Who's a tri bitch over here? Nah, I'm the tri bitch. 